Hey guys, this is Rosemary from The Busy Budgeter. I'm here today to show you how to install a smart bar by Sumo Me. And I'm going to give you a link. The first thing, first of all, the smart bar is this thing right here. It's a way to, you can either collect email signups, you can drive it to traffic for um, an affiliate. This one right here is the grocery budget makeover, which is going on this week. It's an amazing class that saved us $16,000 in a year in our groceries. It's basically walks you step by step through everything you need to know to reduce your grocery budget, teaches you how to cook efficiently, shop efficiently, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so that's my affiliate link. And what we do is we actually have a bar on the top of our website and that has to get changed. We need to fix that. It's not, it shouldn't be subscribed now. It should be by now. Okay. So we're going to um, create a bar that goes up here. The first thing you need to do is you need to install Sumo Me, which is completely free. I'm going to leave a link in the bottom of this video. Um, it should be like right below where the video description or in the comments. Once you have that, once you get Sumo Me, whenever you go to your website and you're logged in, make sure you logged in and you can tell you're logged in by this little bar right here. Um, you click right here, this little crown. Um, yeah, that's right. Okay. The crown goes to the apps and then you go to smart bar right there, a little light bulb. And I should warn you that I'm actually horrendous at technology. So the fact that I can use Sumo Me says a lot. <laughs> Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bars and A-B test. Uh, this is the bar that I've got going on right now, Grocery Budget Makeover. I'm going to go back and edit that because it shouldn't say subscribe me. It should say um, shop now or buy yours or get yours or something like that. But I'm not going to bore you with that. So right now we're going to add a new bar. And here's the bar. We're going to, sorry, that would be my timer to put my crock pot meal on. Speaking of grocery budgets. And we're going to turn this into grocery budget, grocery, grocery budget makeover. And I should warn you that all of my videos are not like super instructional. It's me actually doing my work so you can learn from them. So they're not the, they're not the shortest, but they get the job done. Okay. Grocery budget makeover two. We're going to click on it. And that's how we're actually going to design the bar. I always just do the default template. Like I said, I'm not very, um, so I just leave that at default. Bar mode, I'm going to switch to call to action. Call to action means that you're driving them to a link or a website. So I'm going to put my affiliate link right there. I'm going to have them open it in a new window because I want them to be able to come back to the busy budget if they'd like to. Um, we're going to change the text to be something that lets them know that this is a special sale this week only. Um, the class that saved us, uh, we have to watch spelling grammar here too. The class that saved us $16,000 a year on groceries. Actually, we don't need to say on groceries because that kind of says it right in its name. The class that saved us $16,000 a year, the grocery budget makeover this week. I do that with capitalization. I mess that up all the time. This week only. Okay, check your spelling so that you don't look silly. The class has saved us $16,000 a year, the grocery budget makeover this week only. That's good. Okay. So we, I want the front color to be a little bit darker. Uh, there you go. So you put your text in there. You choose your font color there. You can change your, I like the darker one. Actually, I don't really like that one as much right now. Um, you can change your font. A little one. I like that one. Uh, maybe I want something bigger. I can't decide. Sorry guys. The darker one, permanent marker. I wouldn't go with anything super, um, no, definitely not that. You want something that stands out. You don't want like cursive or crazy font. You want something that's going to get noticed. I really think that's going to be the best one to go with. Okay. So this is the, what I did not change in the last one. You want this one to say buy or learn more, learn more or buy now are kind of your best options there. 
All right, so your button, you want it to kind of match your website. I do a pretty terrible job at this. Hopefully it'll do better. So <laughs> mine like never match my website. Um, I have A-B tested this and you can A-B test your own bars, but I found that the ones that are like red and kind of garish or like orange red stand out really well and tend to get more clicks. Okay, that looks good. And then, so, okay, so that's the button background color. You can change the button font color right there. The background, this is the background of the entire bar. And I'm going to try to go with something. So if I do that, I'm terrible at designing these, by the way. Okay. So I'm going to kind of go right there, like really just change the text and then A-B test it. Um, the countdown timer, I love. The problem is, is that my text is too long and it makes this a larger bar. So let me play around with this. So the countdown timer, I actually already have set. I think I set this right, right? Um, no, I did not. So you want to choose Eastern. That's when the sale ends. Oh, no, it is. Okay. It's on Easter. Okay. And then um, that date is correct, but it's actually at 11.59 p.m. Okay. And then the countdown format is correct. Yeah. Um... So then what we need to do is we need to change, we're going to try changing learn more to buy now and seeing if that makes it short enough. It does not. So we're going to go to our text because I don't really want this to be this big. I think it's going to affect signups. We want this to be smaller. Um, the class that saved us. The class that saved us $16,000 a year, the grocery budget makeover. This, how about just this saved us? This saved us $16,000 a year. And instead of this week only, ending soon. We'll try that. This saved us $16,000 a year, the grocery budget makeover ending soon. Okay. By now, it looks good. Does it look good? We like it. Check everything. Okay, click save. Now your bar is saved. And now we're going to go to behavior. Okay, this part is always a little confusing to me. You want this to say always. And when it says always, that means that every single time someone goes to your site, no matter how many times they've seen this bar, they're going to see it again. I choose that because I don't really think it distracts at all any more than the ads in the sidebar. People tend to, if they're not interested, they're just going to glance past it and then look at whatever content they're looking at. I want to place it at the top of the page. And you can choose other things, but I want the top of the page. And I want the it to be sticky. Like, I want it to always be at the top of the screen, almost making kind of like an outline as, as readers go through. Um, I already have the call to action URL there. This says toggle off if you want your subscribers to have subscribed or click to see this bar. That means that I want people to see this bar even if they've clicked. So I'm going to toggle it off so that every time someone see, someone comes to my site, regardless of whether they've purchased the grocery budget maker or were clicked on it, I want them to be able to see this again. So I've clicked it off. And then um, you can toggle this on to get a notification when someone subscribes. If you have a much smaller website, like I would say less than 30,000, you might like this. That would drive me nuts though because I just get emails all day. All right, so save. Now you have advanced stuff here. I'm not going to do that. Um, you have advanced stuff over there. I don't get involved in advanced stuff. Like I said, I'm not great with technology. So I try to keep it to the basics and the things that I know well. All right. So save. All right. So then we're going to go over here to campaign one. Now I've got both of these running all the time. Okay. And what that's going to do is we're going to be able to track improvements between the two. And I'm going to see which one is performing better. Over time, like when I this is a seven day sale. So I'm going to come on tomorrow and I'm going to delete the underperforming one. Now what I'm actually going to do is as soon as this video ends, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to make about five more bars 
And then somewhere I'm going to delete the two or three underperforming ones, meaning the ones that are not doing well. You can see this is a really, this is a better uh, performing bar than these other ones. However, uh, we don't really have enough clicks to make that like a good number. You really want to give it a day at least to run before you make any like assumptions or judgments. Okay, so I'm going to create five more bars tonight, and then tomorrow I'm going to delete two or three of the most underperforming ones, and, and based on what's performing well, I'm going to try to, like, continue on that streak. Like, the first one that I showed you, let's move this down. Um, okay, yeah, so it's showing the new one. Okay, so uh, play run with that. It's free. It's a great way to drive affiliate sales and email newsletter signups and things like that. Okay, thanks guys.